A truly extraordinary interview. It's a GMA exclusive with Barbara Sheehan. She's the 47-year-old mother who admits to gunning down her husband, shooting him 11 times, a former New York City police officer. And for the first time ever, she's speaking out on camera about what she says happened. And it is a story of abuse and fear. And Shade Baronois from our New York station and anchor at WABC has the interview. Shade? Well, Diane, it's really a tragedy any way you look at it. This wife and mother of two says she endured years of abuse at the hands of her police officer husband and felt she had nowhere to turn for help. Now out of jail on a million dollars bond, Barbara Sheehan is ready to share her personal story. I was trapped. I was petrified. I didn't know what I was going to do. From the outside, they look like a happy family. She a devoted mother and school secretary. He a respected New York police sergeant of 20 years and a church volunteer. But beyond the smiles and behind closed doors, Barbara Sheehan says her family lived in terror of her husband, Raymond. That is, until she took a gun and shot him 11 times. I was sure that he was going to kill me. There was no doubt about it. And you did what? I defended myself. I had to defend myself. And you shot him? Yes. I did. By her side, 22-year-old daughter, Jennifer. It's terrible to say, but it's been better since this happened, since he's been gone, but I still have nightmares that he's going to come home in the middle of the night, and I wake up sweating, crying. He terrorized them for years. Barbara says the abuse began after the birth of their second child. started with pushing, shoving, him apologizing, and then it would get worse. And then it got to a point where he just stopped apologizing. He stopped, bl he was blaming it on me. He locked us all in my bedroom and told us if any of us came out, he was gonna kill us. Must have been terrified. Yeah. In 2007, a vacation that became terribly violent. The walls in the hotel were like cinder block and he kept banging my face up against the wall until my, my whole head cracked open. There was blood all over the room and I wound up in the hospital in the island of Jamaica. People are not going to understand why you just didn't get out. It's not that easy. He was not going to allow me to leave. She couldn't go to the law because he was the law. That's why she never filed a report. Barbara says she wouldn't dare call the police. In her mind, it sounds like she reached that point where it was all or nothing, and it was uh, survival or death. Did he ever point the gun at you? Yes, numerous times. He would put it, put it to my head and you know, tell me that if I, if I left or if I told anybody that he would definitely use it. He would go down in glory is the words he used to use. The fear was ever present. She says even after he retired, he was always armed, a gun around his waist and another strapped to his ankle. This is what police confiscated the day of the murder, right next to the bed in his nightstand, an arsenal of weapons and ammunition. He was in the crime scene unit, which is the unit that collects the forensic evidence and he said that he could commit the perfect crime that he would know if I even thought of going to the cops if I ever embarrassed him that he would commit the perfect crime and no one would know where I was or what happened. But then when Barbara feared her entire marriage armed with a gun and incredible rage her husband threatened to kill her. She says all because she refused to go with him on vacation. In a moment of desperation she got a hold of his gun and shot him. Barbara shot him not once, not twice, not three times, but 11 times. Right. Only at the last moment when she was about to die um, did she act. I mean, she wanted to kill him. She could have killed him over 15 years. How do you feel about your mother now, knowing that she killed your father? I'm still really proud of her. As far as I look at it, he was never really a father to me. and. I'm proud of her that she defended herself. You are now facing 15 years to life in prison. Are you scared? Very scared. I, I, I think about what's gonna happen if, if I do get convicted. You know, what's gonna happen to my children? How are they gonna be without me? But, but they'll be okay, and I'm gonna be okay. This has ripped your family apart. He ripped my family apart. Everything that he did, everything that he said. He could have just left and left us alone, but he wouldn't. I would never ever hurt anybody, ever. And we were really, really being hurt 
physically, emotionally, psychologically. And this case is expected to go to trial sometime in the spring. We reached out to the prosecution and they refused to comment on the case. And Diane, as you can see, this family is really in a lot of pain. So both her children support her? Both of them support her. And what about the family of her husband? Do they believe any of this? They haven't spoken with her family. And Barbara says that's really a travesty. She said the kids shouldn't be punished, that they should speak with their children. And... You know, she's waiting and waiting and waiting. And she said the sad thing about it is that they knew about the abuse. There were only a select few that knew, and she says that they knew. So and no one did anything, she says, no. to help. All right, what a story this is. Thanks so much, and it's good Thank to you. have you with us on Good Morning America. Thank you, Diane.